Hey everybody, Shotgun Dave here. Welcome back to the channel. This is just a little follow-up to George's video from this morning where he announced what we're going to be doing with our Scratch Build live stream series on Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We are going to show you guys every aspect of scratch building. We're going to go from building chassis and setting them up, how to paint and detail bodies, how to do all the little details that go into these cars, um, everything. If you want to go even farther, we'll show you guys how to cast. We'll show you how to make your own tires if you really want to learn all those things. But we are going to focus solely on scratch building. We won't be talking about uh, ready to run cars or anything like that on this channel. So if that is of interest to you guys, which I hope it is, because we're really hoping that we can get some of you guys interested in building these cars. I, once you get the first one under your belt, you're gonna be hooked. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what we're actually gonna be talking about. You see here I have uh, four chassis that I've built. Some of them very recently, you've seen them all on Facebook and the forum and such. And some of these are really old. So I'll show you, we kind of got, we go from, we can go simple, we can go a little more complicated. There's all kinds of things we can do. Um, let's go, this is a very simple. This is a variation of Harry's stinker chassis as he calls it, if you see his videos available on Home Racing World. Um, it's just basically a couple of rails. This one uh, has a lot of different stuff. You know, the motor plate is handmade and the, the bushings for the rear wheels and everything like that's all different. But th these are, it, it's, this is something we'll show you how to do. Um, this one's a little more in depth. As you can see, we, you know, I made a roll cage that goes inside the body. Um, if you put the body on, it's uh, once the, the interior tray is in and everything, it looks more realistic with the cage. We'll show you how to do all that. It's really not hard. Um, this one, this is a little bit more complicated. This is a really old style, what they call a tuning fork chassis. As you, I don't know if you can see that Y there. And these pans, it's all hinged so that there's movement in the chassis. So in other words, you don't really need body float because if you secure the body to these pans, then pans cause it to float by itself. So again, that's something we'll show you how to do as well. This is the chassis that I just completed. I'm sure some of you have seen the video and the pictures on Facebook. Um, it's, it's a pretty simple chassis as well. Uh, I kind of had to come up with a bit of a different way to mount the body. I'll show you just so you see, you know, there's holes in the firewall that go to the struts that go off to the radiator. You just slide the body on these struts, which locates it where it's supposed to be. And I created this rear bumper that slides into the chassis. Just slide it right in there, real easy, yeah. Making myself look uh, bad here. But yeah, you just slide this into the chassis and then slide it into the body. Ain't going anywhere. Now she's ready to roll. So, you know, and we'll show you how to do all these kinds of things. So now, you know, if you need to pull the body off of this, it's very simple. You just pull the bumper off, pull the body off, and do what you gotta do. So like I said, this is what we wanna get you guys interested in. We wanna show you guys that it's not hard to do, that anyone can do this. There's no magic involved. It's, it's all pretty simple. Um, basic tools, everything. Come on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and watch the three of us, George, Harry, and myself, show you how to do this. Thanks for watching.